quick video on what is called Trushe tiles or Trushe tiles. Uh, they are basically uh, non-symmetrical. They are symmetrical but they are not rotationally symmetrical. We covered rotational symmetry in our previous uh, video on uh, kaleidoscopes with webcams. Uh, so this is Trushe tiles. Trushe tiles uh, basically uh, are either these sort of triangles uh, or you can use uh, these curved tiles like this or you can use uh, this kind of a format which, is, which became pretty famous uh, with Nick Montfort's uh, artwork. Uh, this is also with a similar kind of a concept. We tried this one with a little kind of circle arc thing. I thought they were very nice looking uh, and we uh, set it up pretty simply with two custom functions, one for the tile on the left here and one for the so this with the two curves like so and one for the tile on the right here. So the way this will work is uh, we will first open up our PSI sketch and uh, make a simple variable for SM signs. I'm going to keep it at 40 so that means 40 uh, pixels by 40 pixels in width. And then uh, I'm just leave everything as it is and I'll make a new function called draw cell A. Give it two parameters x and y. And I will now build the first tile which you see on the left. Okay, it's pretty simple. I use an arc and within the arc I will say uh, for the moment I'll say 0, 0, 0, 0 which means that it will uh, have a center point 0, 0. And uh, uh, width and height of cell C, which is 40, and then we need to uh, give it a uh, path on which it will get formed. Now, uh, this works in terms of angles so 0 to 360, and this is the angle mode degrees, right? And I will say I want it to go from this first one from 0 here to 90 degrees. So I'll do 0, 90, right? Uh, and now if I were to, uh, so now you see that we haven't uh, used the parameters as, as of now. So for that I'll use a translate and I'll put x, y. So that means wherever my x, y is, uh, a 0, 0 arc will be built. So just to test it out, so let's say 40, 40. You see now there's this little arc here. You can be more fill. Right? Now what I need to do is, uh, because I'm going to use translate, uh, it will sometimes cause issues. So I'm going to do a push pop, which allows us to uh, say that, okay, this is a little bubble of a, uh, of a command. So keep everything within that. Uh, and I need now my second uh, arc in the first tile, which is here. So this is again very simple. Go for uh, duplicating this line. Oops. So uh, now instead of saying a zero comma zero, I will say which was for this style here. I will say uh, cell size for my x variable and uh, cell size for my uh, y variable. The center point is here. Right? So I'll say x cell size, cell size, and uh, this will move. So we know that it's 0 and then it goes clockwise 0, 90, 180, 270, and then back to 0. So we know this is 180, 270. So I'm just going to move this. There you go, you have your first tile ready. Uh, now we'll do a second one as well. So I will say draw cell P and also cell X here so that we know how the cell will draw out. Right? So the second one requires it to be uh, 
So this is again your point zero for this side. So we will see the corner is the same side as and y is going to be the same side. Same size goes to x. That's 40 and y is going to be the x. And uh, the rotation the change started from 0 to 90 from 90 to 100. And then our second one is here, so that is 0 in your x coordinate and same size in your y coordinate. Okay, that's your 5. And now the rotation, so we started 0, 90, 180, 270, and then 360. So we can say 270 to 360 here. This will give us another time. Ah, that's it. Okay. And now one second. So now you see that it's matching this design. Uh, what we need to do now, see for example, I want to draw loop for loop and I just want to try a row of uh, uh, cells. So I say I think I am zero. I am less than the width of the canvas and I plus the space to the cell size, right? And then I make my curly brackets and I add both of them here and this will give me one row each. So what I'll do is I'll keep this i, so that is the progression of i for the x and my y, I will make this 80. So you can see two strips. Maybe you can see two strips and uh, you can also uh, you can also see that if I um, change it around like maybe make this 80 and this 40 it will give me a very different looking pattern right so it's basically using those styles and just kind of multiplying them so what we'll do now is that we will make a grid of these uh, so I'll do J height j has one so if i make this j now i'll remove uh, one of the set one of the tiles and you can see it so i can do a grid make a bit of an error yes i can do another curly bracket So sorry, it just hung for a bit. Uh, so now I have a grid uh, which is giving me uh, cell A. I can try this with cell B as well. There you go. What now we are trying to do is to use both cells, but they uh, come in randomly onto the grid. Uh, so this is very simple. I never realized that it could be done in this format. So what I'll do now is that uh, I'll make the uh, little array called list cell and uh, I will actually x will be a variable and it will take a random between uh, cell A and cell B which will be represented within an array so x one x one bracket here cell A and uh, no don't have to write the parameters because it's just choosing between cell A and cell B right? and uh, here I've got one of the one of them and then I say that uh, this cell uh, I comma J and I say this is your here I go so now it's a very simple format all you need to do is uh, just pick one random cell between each so every time it picks one uh, for every block it picks one random cell between the two and then uh, I um, and it kind of makes this format and of course you have to keep a no loop so that it only gives you one and then every time I play it it will give me a different pattern so there you go that is two shape pens two uh, tiles pretty simple uh, some things uh, that you can do is like change out the cell size to make it really small and beautiful or make it really gigantic and uh, interesting as well um, you can try to do fill color although it looks uh, strange and but it's still fairly interesting
so just try and see what you feel about it and let me know in the comments uh, what are the other things that i did from china thank you